Reminds me of the first time I saw Satan without a shirt on. I was like, "Woo! you're hot as hell. But then I wanted to die because it was so awkward. Because he's more like a brother to me, you know? But like, not actually my brother. So I guess it was fine. I could hit that. And Moxie finally learned not to fuck up. And killing people isn't that big a deal if they try to kill you back. That's messed up. But I paid for it. <laughs> you doing okay, sweetie? Better now, honey. I think I just needed a minute to process. I have a good heart, honey. Just a fuzzy head. Yeah. You know, I smell wine in the house. Octavia's with her mother this weekend, so we could. I'm not fucking you tonight, okay? I'm really just... I'm really not in the mood, Stolas. We could talk. Or watch a movie. Or maybe cuddle. Stolas, don't act like what we have is anything other than you wanting me to fuck you, okay? You make that really clear all the time. But I just, I can't do it tonight. Okay? I'm sorry. Okay. Good night, Blitz. Night. I'm not doing it. What was that? I couldn't make it out of the sound of you being a whiny bitch. I said, I'm not doing it, sir. I spent my whole life being afraid of you. But I'm not giving up the only good thing I've ever had, just so you can keep your fragile little sense of control over everything. Millie is a good woman. A better woman than I deserve. And there's nothing that scares me more than hurting her. Not even you. Satan fucking damn it! Thanks a lot, Blitzo. I'm out of a job. Fuck! Barb, wait. I want to help you. Let me help you, please. You're clean now. Let's just grab dinner. We'll catch up and we'll talk about- <laughs> You don't fucking get it. Just cause I'm at a rehab doesn't mean I want to see you. I never want to see you. Ever. Next time you want to find me, Blitzo, don't. Christ on a stick of all the days from getting get a stupid feathered ass kidnapped. I have waited five fucking years for this appointment. Fuck me in my little red hole. Hmm. How the fuck you looking at? Hey, ya toots. I'm here for that uh, S H O T for my Looney Tooney. <laughs> the what? Ugh, oh, the B U L L shit that my daughter has to get every year that you M O T H E R fuckers only allows a schedule every five years. How the fuck you fuck up that bad anyway, titty haver? I can't spell. I can't read either. The hell be shot, you fucking real I can't say that word anymore. The appointment is under blitz. Um I don't see any blitz on the list. With an O, it's silence, you fucking Oh, an O. Right here, yup yup. Blitz O! Blitz O! Yes, the dog will be right here in just a bit. Please take a seat, Mr. O. Perf. Aw, oh, don't worry, Looney. It's just one little prick. You won't feel it. Ew, don't say that. It sounds vulgar. Excuse me. Pervert. I just want to go home. But home doesn't even feel like home anymore. <laughs> you ruined it. Are you going to run off with him? And leave me behind? Go to a place where I can't find you? What? No. No. Never. I would never do that. Never. I think it's time to leave this place. You were right. You are too old for it anyway. Dad, I'm so sorry. I'm just relieved you're okay. But what would possess you to do such a thing? You know I haven't taught you spells like this yet. I wanted to see the stars you promised. The stars? As if those tears. Oh no, my dear sweet Fia, I am so... I know, Dad. It's okay. You're here now. 
What? No, no. Blitz is fine. He's always a mess. Trust Look, me. Look, honey, I see people having fun and getting fucked up all the time. But he's clearly getting wasted off his ass and causing problems on purpose. So I feel like you should just check up on him. Just see if something's up. Don't act like you know him like I do. I ain't saying that. I'm just pretty sure he's had four tongues inside him at once. I mean, good for him. But... I can taste the flavor of people at my parties, and it's giving off a very not-okay vibe, you know? Oh yeah, and I bet you'd know the okay vibe, right? I mean, everyone likes you so much. What's that supposed to mean? You got a problem with some sour cream? Don't fuck with me! Sorry, n no, I'll check on him. Oh. Sorry, sorry. I know I got a little spicy there. I just hope everything works out. Now let's dance! <laughs> hey. Hey. How did you find me? Your Instagram. Nice pics, by the way. Oh. Thanks. You okay? I just can't believe I was so stupid. I spent all day. Looking for a place where I can see some dumb meteor shower. And all I get is this. Yeah, Smog's a bitch. You know, your dad's really worried about you. Oh, uh, that's why you're here instead of him. He couldn't be bothered to keep his promise, and now he can't be bothered to come get me himself. You had to just spend his time just screaming at my mom. Why does he hate her more than he loves me? Sometimes... Sometimes it's not as simple as that. This kind of shit gets messy. Everybody's got issues. Especially dads. And sometimes they fuck up. Or... All the time. That doesn't mean they don't care. If he cares, where is he? He's somewhere down there. He's here, looking for you. Try to cut your dad some slack. He may not always get it right, but he's trying. That's more important than you think. You ready to go? Yeah. Piss on a dick! What the fuck are you doing, Blitz? This guy... You look like you're in the middle of a goddamn orgy! Stop! Look, I didn't expect you to come in here and see any of this, Looney. I'm so sorry. But it's a party, so I'm just having fun with... The fuck is your name again? Dennis. Christ, on a stick, you wouldn't be a dentist. Get the fuck away from me. I'm not fucking a dentist tonight. I need a Monica or Alejandro in here. Stat! Better. You don't need anyone else sucking your face, freaky weirdo. You need to drink something other than Beezle juice. Uh, no. I did care! Okay, you're right. It was my fault, okay? I should have done more to help. I was trying. There was so much going on. I was trying to get help, Fizz. But I just... It was still my fault. Oh, shit. Am I in danger right now? God damn it! Sir, let me and Moxie handle this one. Okay, are you too sure that you got this alone? We can do it, sir. Together we are a lethal combo, and we both have a score to settle with that dickhead. How does one get their own theme song? Look, Mommy, they let fire toads in here. <laughs> the fuck did you just call me? It's not polite to call them that to their face, honey. Wait until we're in the car. You got a problem with me, cunt? <gasps> there is a child present, you filthy Rathian. Oh, I am not from Wrath, bitch. Also, my kid's here too. And I don't think she would appreciate you calling her father things. Is there any way we can reschedule for a time when less of the unemployed rabble are out? Oh, please. I bet the hardest work you've ever done is convincing your husband that little shit's his. Oh, yeah? And what do you do that's so important? Me? Oh, I kill people. 
How does a two-for-one special sound, whore? Mr. O! Doc will see your hand now! <sighs> Watch it! I mean, we could stay a little longer. I think we need to go. Okay, I think it's been a long night. But these people seem to know you! Come on, I'm thinking about giving this another try. Please? <sighs> okay, fine. Maybe one drink. So I told her... I'm not going to go dead unless you fucking throw it this time. That is so not fetch. Not fetch. <laughs> like, yeah, like that happens all the time. <laughs> OMJ. Luna? Lunatech Luna? Is that you? Uh, yes, it's Luna. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe you're even showing up to another party. I mean, do you even remember the last one? I'm sure you'll remind me. Yeah, this. This you, right? <sighs> what do you still have that it brings me joy? You know, you're supposed to keep things that bring you joy. <sighs> you're being really negative. Your aura is really aggressive right now. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe it's because I'm in the presence of a massive bitch. <laughs> oh, my dog. Wow. What? Is that not an okay thing to say? Like, come on, it's true! You can't say that. Is it true that this theme park is just a really shameless spin-off of Lucifer's far more popular Lulu World? No. This place reeks of insecure corporate shame. <laughs> Why don't we go check out the rides? That chick's creepy, huh? Yeah, wait till her dad tries to diddle your holes. What's that mean? Don't talk to me. I know you're a pervert under there. Yeah. You really like this place, huh? I love this place. My parents would bring me and my siblings here when they could swing it. Money-wise. Well, yeah. The prices here do seem rather criminal. I mean, that much for a novelty cup that you use one time? Because it's Lululand! <sighs> Listen to your home, Ox. The fuck are you doing? Reflecting. Well, stop! It's annoying to hear you screeching your silly woes all the time. Why are you still here? You leave with Thea on weekends, but then you stay around the house despite everything. I like tormenting you. I want to keep reminding you of what you did. I know what I did. I would feel bad if I hurt you, but we both know I didn't do that. You and I were arranged for one reason. To birth a precautionary heir to the Goetia family. Nothing more. I tried so many years to make it comfortable for us to have this family, but it was never enough. The only reason I've endured your constant insults and cruelty was for that girl to have a normal life. I cannot do this anymore. I want you out now. What do you mean, out? I mean out. Out of this palace. Out of my life. We are getting the divorce. How dare you? What do you think the rest of the Goetia family will think? Aunt Rel I don't care what your arrogant brother thinks. And the only thing the Goetia family wanted from our marriage is already 17, so it's over. I'm done. Fine. I have no desire to stay around the place with a traitorous embarrassment. You have fallen from what little grace you had, and I know you'll pay for it. Hello? Is this Fizz's former bestie, then lifelong enemy, then recent hero, now newly rekindled sort of friend Blitz? Ooh, that's a weird way to put it, but yeah, that's me. This is Osmodius. Oh, shit, the big Oz himself. <laughs> is there a reason why you're calling me for the weekend, your sinness, sinfulness, ugh, royal big man? You've lived rent-free in Fizz's head for years, so I can't help feel he values your take in things. Yeah, I was the one who usually had the stronger opinions. Yeah, like, like, one time I, she tried convincing me the juggling was cool, but it's only a little cool at best. Look, he's dead set on entering Greed's yearly clown pageant. Well... Big fucking surprise there. I was hoping to have some backup on convincing Fizz this whole thing is a waste of time. What? Why? Doesn't he always win? Because Mammon is a selfish manipulative piece of shit! And Fizz won't listen to me when I try to tell him that. Well, my special skills are killing things without giving fucks and pointing out people's flaws. 
All right, come in. Then let's be keep it simple. Once a month on the full moon, you return the book to me, followed by a night of passionate fornication. And you get to keep it for the rest of the time. Sound fair, my little imp?